When you want to make your guests feel welcome or you're hosting a lovely brunch, you want to have something a little special. To get started, I have turned my oven on to 375 degrees Fahrenheit to preheat. And I've prepared my baking dish by spraying it with baking spray and then cutting some parchment paper to size. I want the parchment paper to overlap the sides so that I can lift the coffee cake out of its pan so I can cut it into pretty slices for a lovely presentation. This coffee cake has a crumble topping made with one quarter cup of all-purpose flour, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of finely chopped nuts. I like to use chopped pecans. You could use chopped walnuts or any nut that you think would be nice. And then one teaspoon of finely grated lemon peel. The lemon peel is going to go into both the cake and the crumble topping. So I'll be using most of the skin of this lemon in this recipe. Lemon really enhances the flavor of blueberries. So it will not overpower the coffee cake, but it's just gonna make it taste mm, so good. To prepare the crumb topping, we're gonna to take our very clean fingers and just mash everything together. You want these crumbles to happen so that when you distribute it across the top of the coffee cake that you have crunchy bits. Next, we're mixing one stick of softened butter with one cup of granulated sugar. With the butter and sugar cream together, I've added one cup of sour cream, whole fat sour cream, the zest, the remaining zest of that lemon, two large eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna beat that to combine it well. Next, all at once, we're adding two cups of all-purpose flour combined with one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and I've whisked those together so they're well distributed. And we're gonna mix this just to combine. Now I want to scrape down the sides of the bowl, making sure that there are no dry bits left. And it's time to add the blueberries. A heaping cup straight from the freezer so they don't have any time at all to start to thaw out and break down and turn my batter colors. I'm gonna go straight from the bowl into the pan. Spread the batter out side to side. Oh, looks beautiful. I can smell a little bit of that lemon zest. It's going to be delicious. Finally, spread the crumble bits across the top of the cake. And then we go right into the center rack of the preheated 375 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. It looks pretty. 45 minute check. Looking good.